Thousands of people are learning Python right now, but only a few get hired. The difference? Well, they don't just learn Python. They build projects that employers want to see. In this video, I'll show you five Python projects that can actually land you a job and how you can build each one. I've reviewed portfolios, sat in interviews, and I can tell you recruiters don't care if you just know syntax. They care if you can solve problems with code. And those projects prove that. And wait until you see project number five. It's the ultimate portfolio boost. So let's go over those five projects. The first project on the list is an automated data dashboard. Using Pandas, Matplotlib, or Seaborn and Streamlit, you can build a live dashboard that tracks something useful like stock market prices, crypto trends, weather forecasts, or even personal expenses. I have an example right here, which is a classifier explainer. And while I don't want to deep dive into how this works, as you can see, we have a beautiful dashboard while which we can personalize, select a specific person, and we get different data. Remember that businesses live on data. If you show you can analyze data and present it clearly, you can stand out immediately as someone who can support real decision making. And that is very important. The second project on the list is a web scraper where you can also integrate some API. You can use requests, Beautiful Soup or Scrappy, plus an API like Slack, Notion, or Google Sheets. Using those, you can build a scrapper that collects data, let's say job posting from Indeed, then pushes into a Slack channel or even a Google Sheet automatically. I have an example right here, which is a notebook where we obtain the HTML from this website using requests. Later on, we parse the HTML using beautiful soup, as I mentioned previously. And as you can see, we continue to look into this HTML data later on being able to extract relevant data from that website, which is very cool. Now, this project screams automation. It proves you can save companies hours of manual work. And that is the kind of skill managers pay for. As we move along, we get to the third project, which is basically a REST API with Fast API. You are going to use Fast API, SQL Alchemy, which is a database, and deployment with Render, Railway, or Heroku. With this, basically, you will build a backend service that stores and serves data. For example, a notes manager, book library, or a to do list, for example. As an example, I have the API for the website that I'm building for you guys for the community called Bot and Hatch. This one here is the Swagger UI of the Fast API. In here, you can even test your um, APIs. For example, if I'm going to execute this, obviously it will say invalid credentials because this is not a real account that I have. But what it matters is that almost every company needs APIs. By showing a live deployed API, you prove you can work on the same kind of backend system they use daily. And that's a very strong point. As time flies, we are already at the fourth project on the list, which is machine learning mini project. Using scikit-learn, Jupyter Notebook, or Pandas, you can build a small but powerful ML project like predictioning house prices, detecting spam emails, or classifying movie reviews as positive or negative. As example right here, I have a K-means pipeline, which is a popular unsupervised machine learning algorithm that makes that make inferences from datasets using only input vectors without labeled outcomes. And this is how it looks like. It's a very simple one. And as you can see, it also uses Matplotlib to actually plot the results. You don't really need to deep AI expertise. Even a simple ML project proves you can handle data pipelines, model training, and problem solving. All skills companies love. And we are at the end of our list, project number five, which is a very powerful application for our portfolio. It is about full stack portfolio application, where we will be using tools like FastAPI or Django for the backend. We're gonna use for the front end React or Next.js and the deployment on Vercel or Netlify plus Railway. Using all these, we will be building a complete app that solves a personal problem, a job application tracker, fitness problem tracker, or a personal finance dashboard. As an example, I have here the button hatch application that I was talking previously, which I'm building right now for the community in order for everyone to have a place to practice their Python skills. This is a killer project. It shows end-to-end -end skills, back-end, front-end deployment. 
most juniors don't have this. So if you do, you immediately stand out. So those are the five Python projects that can make your portfolio stand out. Which one of you are starting with? Let me know in the comments. I read them all. And if you want tutorials breaking down each of these projects step by step, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Remember, don't just learn Python. Prove you can use it. That's how you will get hired.